Hello students, welcome to my channel Easy Z Maths. Let's go to exercise 14b, lines and angles. Third problem. The arrows indicate parallel lines. State which angles are equal. Angle A and angle C are equal. Alternate angles. Angle A and angle B are equal. Corresponding angles. Here angle X is equal to angle Y. Vertically opposite angles. Angle X is equal to angle L. Corresponding angles. Angle Y is equal to angle N. Corresponding angles. Angle L is equal to angle N. Vertically opposite angles. Angle M is equal to angle K. Vertically opposite angles. Angle X is equal to angle N. Exterior alternate angles. Angle K is equal to angle Q. Corresponding angles. Angle N is equal to angle R. Corresponding angles. In the given figure, find the measure of the unknown angles. Angle A is equal to 110. These two are corresponding angles. If this is 110, then this is 70. Because it makes a linear pair. Both these angles make a linear pair. Therefore, this is 110, this is 70. If this is 70, then angle B is equal to 70. Corresponding angles. Angle D is equal to 110. Alternate angles. Angle C is equal to 70. Vertically opposite angles. If B is equal to 70, C is also 70. If E is 70, then G is also 70. Vertically opposite angles. This is 110. Which pair of the dotted line segments in the following figures are parallel? Give reason. These two are co-interior angles, but they are not supplementary. Therefore, these two lines are not parallel. If this is 45, then vertically opposite angle is equal to 45. And these two make, and these two are supplementary. 135 plus 45 is equal to 180. These two lines are parallel. 120 and 130. These two angles are corresponding angles but they are not equal. Therefore, these two lines are not parallel. This is 70. Then the linear pair. This is 110. Both these angles are equal corresponding angles. Therefore, these two lines are parallel. 70 and 100. They are co-interior angles but they don't add up to 180. Therefore, these two lines are not parallel. 80 and 70. These two angles are corresponding but they are not equal therefore these two lines are not parallel these two angles are interior alternate angles but they are not equal therefore these two lines are not parallel in the given figures the directed lines are parallel to each other find the unknown angles this is 60 B is 60 vertically opposite angles if this is 60 C is also 60 corresponding angles if this is 60, this is 60, vertical opposite angles or this is 6, A and B are corresponding angles. If this is 60, this is also 60. If this is 55, then Y is equal to 55 because vertically opposite angles. Linear pair, 180 minus 55, 125, Z is equal to 125 degree. Z is equal to X, corresponding angles. Therefore, X is 125 degree. A is equal to 180 minus 120. These two are co-interior angles. Therefore, A is equal to 180 minus 120. That is 60. If A is 60, then B is also 60. Vertical opposite angles. This is 120. C is 120. Corresponding angles. X is equal to 50 degree alternate angles. Y is equal to 60 degree. These two are co-interior angles. So, X plus Y is equal to 110. Now Z is equal to the reflex of X plus Y. So 360 minus 110. 360 minus 110 is equal to 250 degree. Therefore Z is equal to Z is equal to 250 degree. These two lines are parallel. If this is 90, X is also 90 degree. Co-interior angles are supplementary. This is 30. This is 90. Therefore in this triangle, the remaining angle Z is equal to 90 plus 30 is 120. 180 minus 120 is 60. Z is equal to 60 degree. Sum of the angles of a triangle is equal to 180. Therefore, 90 plus 30 plus 60 is equal to 180. If this is 60, this is 120. 
y is equal to 120 degree linear pair y and k are co-interior angles therefore y is equal to 120 k is equal to 60 degree these two lines are parallel therefore if this is 60 then p is also 60 degree corresponding angles if this is 60 t is equal to 120 linear pair if t is 120 then q is equal to 120 corresponding angles If this is 110, vertically opposite angles, x is equal to 110. If this is 110, the linear pair, s is equal to 70 degree. Y and y is 70 degree because exterior alternate angles. These two lines are parallel, 120 and p. These two angles are co-interior angles, therefore this is 60 p is equal to 60 degree x and p are alternate angles so this is 60 degree or these two are linear pair therefore 120 plus 60 is equal to 180 120 and q q is also 120 degree corresponding angles vertically opposite angles therefore y is equal to 110 if this is 110 this is 70 co interior angles are supplementary. This is 70 then z is equal to 70 degree vertically opposite angles. These two are parallel lines. If this is 75 y is also 75 degree because alternate angles. This is 112 this is 180 minus 112 68 degree this is 75 68 and this is equal to 180 minus 68 plus 75. 180 minus 68 plus 75. This is 37 degree. 37 plus 75 is equal to 112. X is equal to 180 minus 112. This is 68 degree. Or we can say these two lines are parallel. Therefore, these two are corresponding angles. So this is 68, this is also 68. These two are co-interior angles because these two lines are parallel. 180 minus 115 is equal to 65. 65 degree. This is 120. These two are co-interior angles. Therefore C is equal to 60 degree. And B is equal to 180 minus 65 plus 60. B is equal to 55. 65 plus 60 is equal to 125, 180 minus 125 is equal to 55 degree.